What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys, this is going to be a basic, basic video. But again, man, I, I truly believe in the basics. I truly believe in, in, in basic fundamentals. Um, I truly believe in keeping shit simple, right? So this is a simple video ad. This is a, I'll, I'll take you through a full walkthrough of, of how I set it up and, and my whole strategy behind it. This is for a client. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I've been, I've been building an agency for the past, well, since 2016. I've gotten at this point hundreds and hundreds of clients, um, not all retaining clients, but hundreds of not thousands yet, but hundreds. I've gotten hundreds of clients um, online, social media marketing, um, all through the DM, direct messaging, getting them on a, on a Zoom call just like this where I screen share and walk them through some basics. Um, and just bringing value. I've been bringing value since 2016, brought aboard hundreds of clients, took, you know, taking, taking credit cards from literally hundreds of clients to provide a great value, man. Um, but again, basic, simple stuff that are super important when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising. My whole strategy with this client, this is, and, and, and if, again, if you've been following me for a while, I've been focused on one niche since 2016, right? Social media marketing services, Facebook advertising focused on one niche, and that's been real estate agents. Um, but I truly believe these five steps that I implement for agents is the same strategy and applies to any business, any small business owner, any small to medium sized business owner, anyone building, building an actual brand. It's so crazy, dude, how our whole online audience, industry, freaking niche, whatever the heck you want to call it. The internet now consists of social media, right? Now we have these quote unquote influencers. Influencers are people who have a influence over others, but on a grand scale because of basic numbers on social media, thousands of people following you, right? Again, if, you, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, I talk a lot about that, man, where it's like, if you're a local business owner and your clients are in your backyard, becoming an influencer and becoming like this social media butterfly where you're posting on every platform or where, or where you're going, you know, live on all these platforms, um, whatever it may be. If you're, if you're building a nationwide business, that makes sense. But if you're a local business owner, it kind of doesn't, right? It kind of doesn't. And so these basics, it, it blows my mind on how basic fundamentals on social media and Facebook advertising, even these influencers don't even implement because again, they're focused on, on building something nationwide. And when it comes to the local business owner, you have to stay in your backyard, man. But how do you do that? Right? How do you do that? How do you target just your backyard? It's Facebook advertising. Okay. So again, I focused on one niche since 2016, but, but now I'm kind of branching out somewhat. Um, my whole objective is to scale my, my actual digital course. I have a course where I'm now taking my past few years since 2016, doing these services for clients. Now where I'm at in 2020 is packaging all that up into a digital course and simply sharing it with them, selling it to them, offering it to them, um, teaching people how to fish, right? teaching people how to run their own social media platforms, teaching people how to run their own Facebook ads and really empowering people is where I'm at right now, right? Because I truly believe the stuff that, that I do for clients, the stuff that many agencies do for clients, what do you do for a client, bro? You're trying to build an agency, you're a freelancer. What do you do? You do, do, it, you do done for you services, right? Whether you're managing their social media, whether you're running paid traffic, Facebook ad, you're running their Instagram ad, you're running their YouTube ads, whether you're freaking... I don't know, dude, freaking, what does it take? What, what, as an agency, you're freaking copywriting. Maybe you're redo, you're redesigning landing pages. Maybe you're setting up landing pages. Like I do. I focus on Facebook ads, landing pages and email automation. That's what these clients pay me for. But at, again, at this point, I've, I've gotten hundreds, you know, of clients, but I, I don't retain hundreds, right? So don't get it twisted. I don't retain, um, um, hundreds of monthly clients at all, dude. That's why once you learn how to do something, man, I truly believe in sharing that knowledge with the masses. I truly believe in selling your knowledge. Where we're at in freaking 2020 and beyond is a freaking sell your knowledge society. We are in a digital world. We are in a knowledge society where people can now use platforms like Kartra, teach on a specific topic, put it in video form, set it up in modules, lesson one, lesson two. People will buy that. We are now in the, in, in, we're no longer in the information age. We're in the knowledge 
monetization age. We go through the industrial age. We go through the information age. These are all time periods in our freaking history, man. You got to study this stuff. You got to know, you got to know how the money flows. You got to know where the money flows. You got to know how long it's been flowing for in these different eras that, that our economy goes through, right? Right now, we're in the digital we're, we're, You would You would think that we're in the social media world, which we are, but at the same time, what's even 10 times more powerful than that um, is being able to leverage that to build some type of influence and sell your knowledge, right? That's where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm fired up, but I have a handful of clients that I do retain. Um, shout out to Marlon. Shout out, shout out to Marlon with, with, with Salee Still Structures. This is a client that, again, I, I stuck to one client since 2016, but then, I, but then I branched off only because these clients are not messing around. They're like, David, I've been following you. I've, I, I watched a few of your YouTube videos. I know you know what you're doing. Here's my budget. Let's make it happen. And, and, and the budget would obviously have to be right for me to even step out. And at this point, I feel these tactics and these strategies apply for any business, man. So what I've been doing with one niche since 2016 I can easily go and do with any niche, right? But again, where I'm at right now is I want to scale my knowledge. I want to for, I want to package all that up, form a product, a digital product, bring value to people, and scale the heck out of that, out of digital courses, right? That's that where I that's where I truly believe all you guys need to be, man. Once you learn something, there's only three things you need to learn on a specific topic. Mine is Facebook ads, landing pages, and email automation. Those three things, again, I've been focused on, 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 on teaching one niche how to do that since 2016, but where I'm at now, I just truly believe, again, they apply for everything. So this client right here, shout out to Marlon, um, very, very successful guy in, in the Arkansas um, area, super successful, been building businesses forever and a day, and, and, and again, he found me on YouTube and he's all, David, we got to get together. We got to make it happen. So not only did he bring me aboard to run his Facebook ads, but he brought me aboard to manage his Karcher account. So that right there is a whole nother affiliate commission, right? Just in the Karcher account. And then, and then again, man, you, you get to pick and choose. Once you get to a point, you get to pick and choose because again, it's all the same thing. A Facebook ad to an offer for a small business owner. Like that, I'm telling you, there's so many different ways you can do it. And in this case, let me walk you through the strategy. He's willing to do it through video, which is what I encourage all my clients. I'm like, dude, here's the strategy. We got to run a weekly video. Bottom line, the only area you need to be targeting is your local backyard. The hell with everybody else on social media. You're a local business owner. Let's get the entire city to know who the heck you are. And, and, and here's the layout, right? And so here's where I'm at with Marlon right here, which Saley still structures you're catching me in the very beginning of a, of a great business relationship that I'm about to do with Mr. Marlin here. And I'm going to just help him take his, his business to the next level and just brand the heck out of his business on Facebook. Um, and this is where it starts. I, 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 I um, do my best to lay out a four week campaign for a client, right? Every week, man, every week, let's run a video every week. I need you on, I need you on camera. I need you on your, on your cell phone and I need you to keep it stupid, simple. I don't care if you're dressed that day. I don't care how your hair looks. Like, I don't care, like, freaking if you haven't shaved, right? Like, it don't matter. If your hair's all jacked up, it, like, it doesn't matter, dude. It really doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that your local area keeps seeing you in their newsfeed. That's what matters. And that's what's crazy powerful. And because you're in your pajamas or because you're on your couch chilling, drinking a glass of wine, or, or you're, you're pulling out your cell phone in the morning while you're sitting on the sofa drinking your morning coffee, and you're pulling out your cell phone and talking about the market or you're talking about your service, you're talking about your, your experience with, with your client that you just brought aboard. You're talking about, um, 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 you know, the, 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 the different tips, like for example, when it comes to my clients, real estate agents, I'm like, dude, you're pulling out your cell phone and you're talking about what it takes to sell your property. You're talking about what it takes to qualify for a mortgage. You're talking about what it takes to increase your, your, your FICO score. So if you are planning on buying, you're in a better position. You're talking about what it takes to buy in 2020. You're talking about what it takes to sell in 2020. You're giving away these little one to two minute video clips from your cell phone and you're doing one per week. And we're just running it to your local area every single week to capture leads. But the first ad, this is where we're at with this one, okay? The first ad is an intro. It's an intro. It's either an intro on your product, you're doing some type of tutorial, you're doing some type of introduction, or it's an intro on, it's an intro on you. Like if you're a, like a real estate agent, for example, an insurance agent, um, anyone, an attorney, 
if you own a yoga studio, if you own the local restaurant, if you own freaking, if you're the local dentist, if you're the local chiropractor, it's you, you're, you are the individual. If you're in a, if you're the local attorney, right? This applies for everyone, man. This applies for every small business owner, especially do it yourself, freelancers, those types of uh, businesses that, that, that feed off of clients, right? You're, you're, you're one, you're one-to-one client. You know what I mean? Um, you're selling solar, right? You're, you're, you're closing deals, you're closing clients, right? And so when it comes down to that, dude, your, your, your whole attention needs to go to your local area. And we're going to run one, one we're going to run one weekly. And it starts with you introducing yourself because chances are you live in a busy ass city like me, or even if you're in a, in a small town, it really doesn't matter. There's still several thousand people in that area that you don't know, unless you're in a tiny ass area. Like let's say for example, there's different super small towns in the U S alone. Like I know in the, in the, in the, in the Midwest, in the, in the, in the, in the South, there's these random ass cities that, that there's like 300 people, right? Like random, but the majority of us live in a busy ass area. Right. And so it's like, dude, this first video we're, we're looking at four weeks, right? The first week is an intro. And, and in this case, he's doing an intro on his product. He's doing an intro on him. That's a long ass video, right? It, it's but because it's mixed in with other value. Watch this video to learn how to build your own metal garage or workshop building. So, so not only is he, is he introducing himself, this is video number one. And the reason why this is so important, man, because again, you most likely li- live in an area where there's tons of people that don't know you. All we want to do with this one is break the ice. We want to freaking say hello. We want to introduce ourselves. Like, let me put, let me take you on a date first before I throw you in the back seat, right? You don't just hop, you don't just hop in someone's back seat, right? Wine and dine, maybe send the girl some flowers, right? Like, take your time with it. And then before you know it, you'll be in the back seat, but you don't do that right away, right? Same thing with, with, with ads. Same thing as you bring your product to social media. Same thing, what you're doing with your overall online branding. It's like, dude, there should be a low point. There should be a low point and there should be a non-aggressive intro to get the ball rolling, right? Because again, the focus is not to brand the country. The focus is not to post all over social media. The focus is to run one video per week that we're running an ad on. And, and, and through these weekly ads, we're building custom audiences. We're, we're, we're getting our pixel fired up. We're freaking getting custom conversions. We're, we're, we're feeding that pixel conversion events. So, and, and, and most importantly, because video, how powerful is it, dude? People, he wants to go after the entire state. Okay, this guy's a, a, a statewide business. But again, most people are local businesses. Um, this guy is statewide. He wants to run it in the, to the entire country, and that's what we're going to do. Um, and this is week number one. So I'm like, dude, every week we're going to talk about something of value. And it doesn't have to be 27 minutes. Like Marlon, that's why I'm working with him, because he's on fire. He's willing to go out there and, and do videos. He has a freaking unlimited budget. He's like, David, I'm all in. Like, let's go, right? And so I said, dude, it's on. It's game time. And, and so this is our four week campaign. This is, you're catching us at week number one. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to record every one. So I'll record each week. So catch, catch in seven days, this ad just, it, shit, I'm, I'm freaking putting the ad live right now. It's freaking Saturday. Okay. So track the date. Um, I'm going to turn this into a four week. Um, what's the date today? Today's Saturday, the, um, the 18th, exactly 30 days ago, my little boy was, was born. Shout out to Caden, one month old today. Shout out to my boy. Uh, my little one month old boy. It's crazy, dude. Um, 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 um. So I'm going to document this. I'm going to document this. This is week one um, and it's video views. Our whole objective is to build a custom audience. That's what we're looking to do. Let's get thousands of people to watch this first video. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want to throw me in the back seat right away. Introduce yourself. Maybe take me out to dinner. Maybe freaking buy me a little freaking ice cream after. And then we'll talk about the back seat, right? That's how I look at marketing. Most people want to throw up on you right away. Most people want to buy, want to sell their shit to you right away. It's like, dude, wait a minute. What's your name again? Like, I, like I don't. Especially when it comes to like services that are that are that are very common. Real estate agent. It's like, dude, there's a million real estate. There's actually two million real estate agents. It's like, dude, what makes you so special? Like, what makes you stand out? You're an insurance agent. Okay, shit, dude. What makes you so different? What makes you stand out? There's three million insurance agents that I can choose from. I can come into Facebook and type an insurance agent and find 50 million of them. What makes you so different? It's that branding. It's that branding. It's that, it's that, it's that 
So here's what we do with this one. It's that introduction. And then after that, we build, a, we build custom audiences around everyone who's viewing it after that. So week number two, we'll retarget everyone who, who views week number one. Week number three, we'll retarget everyone who, who views week number one and week number two. Week number four, same thing, you know, every week from this point on. We're, we continue to target the state, right? But we're also retargeting all the viewers. And it all starts with this one, the intro. Now, although that is a long ass video, not everyone's going to watch the whole thing at all. Most won't even watch half of it. But out of a 27 minute video, as long as we can capture an audience of folks that let's say, let's say even watch four minutes for someone to sit here, dude, let's keep it real for someone to sit here and watch four minutes of something. That's a lot of time. They may not have watched freaking 27, but they for sure gave you some of their time. That's a warm audience. So, so once you run this, we run this for the first week, right? get a few thousand people to view it. We'll see where it's at in seven days. So again, come back in seven days, dude. You'll see this freaking video. Um, come back in seven days. And actually, you know what? Now I take that back. I take that back because I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait until, actually, you know what? No, no, I take that back. By the time you guys are seeing this, by the time you guys are seeing this, I'll be back to back to back with it. I'll, I'll lay them all out. Um, yeah, I'll lay them out. I'll lay them all out. You'll, you'll see them back to back. So week number one, and then tomorrow. So for example, depending on when you're watching this, I already dropped tomorrow. So tomorrow will be tomorrow, um, which will be week two. Week three will be the third day. Week four will be, will be the next day. So I'll track every single week after that, you know, from this point on. But the first one, dude, video views, right? So let's post it on the page. We posted it there, uploaded the video there, wrote out the text, and then we pinned it, pinned it to the top, okay? So it's on the business page first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our page, to our personal page. We can click on, um, we can click on home. And then to the left, we're going to click on, um, we'll click on see more right here, ads manager. You click on this and it's going to bring you to your ads manager over here. Okay. This is where you want to be. This is what you want to bookmark. So bookmark this page right here. Okay. This is your dashboard. This is where everything starts. Bookmark this page. Make sure you're in the right account because Facebook, as you're navigating through Facebook, Facebook freaking, you know, takes you back and forth between accounts. Sometimes you'll see it right here, change, and then you'll see it up here. Um, where did it go? Um, you'll see it. Well, actually it used to be on the other side, but um, this one's not showing it, but yeah, you can track it right here. Just make sure you're in the right one. Um, make sure right here you're in the, you're in the right, you're in the right account as well. So um, this is where it all starts. Okay. So click the green button. This one's going to be video views. So again, the whole strategy is to freaking get thousands of people to view it and then just use that to our advantage, leverage that audience, turn it into a warmer audience by showing them another ad. And, and by the time we go to week two, so here's, here's the strategy. Week one is video views, intro video. Week two and on are conversions. And those videos are where we start giving away a free download, which will be this page right here right? We're going to bring people to this page right here. Click here to download your free brochure. They click that. And this is a, a, um, a form that we're actually looking to, to get information on. Um, but again, that's not right now. That's in week number two. So week number two is when the link to the, the landing page is going to be, is going to be so important. That's when, when that's needed. Now I'm going to link it here. I'm going to link it on this first one, but the chances of people clicking and opting in are not likely because what we're optimizing for is video views, not conversions. Conversions again is week two and on. And that's when we're shooting for lead capture conversions. Okay. So right now we're going to go video views. And then what I do is I um, hit this drop down right here and then I name everything right here as well. So I'll name the campaign name, the ad set name and the ad name. So we're going to go, um, we're going to go intro, intro video, views okay and then this right here the ad set i'm going to arkansas arkansas that's where we're targeting and, and we're going to go arkansas um 10 10 times okay so that's what i'm going to put there and then we're going to just go um we're going to go, um, 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 I'm going to name the ad. Let's see. Uh, middle garage 
watch this video to learn how to build your own. Okay, let's take that and we're gonna name Metal Garage Workshop Building. Video. Okay, cool. So that's how I'm gonna, that's how I name each title, right? On each each step. Campaign ad set ad. Those are your three levels. Okay, so now we 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 go in and this right here, it's not it's not exactly housing, dude. It's not exactly housing. It's more of a freaking of a carport. Um, it's more of a of a shed, right? So it's not exactly housing, but ads for real estate listings, homeowners, insurance, mortgage loans, or related opportunities. See, this could somewhat fall in the housing category. Now, if I, if I choose it and it's not housing category, that's okay. But if I don't choose it and it is housing category, then the ad gets rejected. Okay. Keep that in mind. But at the same time, you just go in, you know, you'll know what it is. You take it out and then freaking boom, resubmit and it's approved. So it's no big deal, but it's just the extra step. It's the headache. I want to just turn this bad boy on and not even think about it for the next seven days. Right. So, um, let's go with, let's go with, um, actually I'm not going to go, let's see. I mean, it won't hurt. It won't hurt housing. Um, it's a freaking shed, dude. It's not exactly a house, but I do believe permitted is permitting maybe necessary. I'm going to just put housing dude, just for the heck of it. I'll put housing. Okay. So let's go down. Let's go see category requirements. You can, you can look at this, but that's, I don't really care about that. So let's come down and then I don't need campaign budget op optimization. Campaign budget optimization is when you're running multiple ad sets. If you're mul running multiple ad sets and you're running multiple ads, then campaign budget optimization would, would make a lot of sense because what that does is Facebook optimize for you. So they'll look at four different ad sets that you're running, or they'll look at four different ads that you're running all one ad, but I'm talking about four different images, right? Or four different videos, or you're setting up four different targeting audiences. One audience, you're targeting Home Depot, everyone who follows Home Depot. Another audience, you're targeting everyone who follows Amazon. Another audience, you're targeting everyone who follows Tony Robbins, right? Like those are ad sets targeting. It's, it's the targeting. So that campaign budget optimization, Facebook just optimizes it for, for, optimizes it for you, finds the best running ad, and delivers the data. And then you can look at that, and then you can turn off the other ad sets. If one's performing better than the other four, or the other three, let's say you're running four, one's performing better than the other, than the other three, you'll know that, you'll look at the dashboard, you'll see the numbers, you'll be like, damn, dude, I'm getting way cheaper leads over there. And then so you'll know to turn off those other ones, but you didn't have to, you didn't have to do it yourself. Campaign budget optimization did it for you. So in this case, I'm only running one ad set and I'm only running one ad, which is the video. So I don't care about campaign optim, uh, budget optimization. So I won't do it there. I'll just simply create the budget here and it's all good. Okay. So there's my ad set name. That's already in it. Dynamic creative don't need that. What I do is I end up going lifetime budget. When it comes to a like ad, I run a lot of like ads for clients. You know, I take their business page from 200 likes to freaking 2,500 likes, right? I run a lot of like ads and I run a lot of video ads. I run a lot of, a lot of lead capture ads too, but, but I teach people how to do it themselves, right? I don't take on monthly, a lot of monthly clients where I'm running conversion ads for them anymore. Um, I have a handful of clients, monthly clients. I close clients every day, but as far as retaining, I only retain a few, um, and those are the conversion ads. So if you're, if you're, if you're running monthly ads for a, for a business, you're running conversions. Or again, in my case, I'm freaking teaching people how to run it themselves, right? So when it comes to like ads and video ads, which is what I still run a lot of, lot of on my end, even if I'm not retaining you, chances are I, I, I brought you aboard because I'm doing some like ads for you and some video ads for you, right? So when I do those two specific ones, I'll go lifetime. I'll go lifetime. And what I do is I simply, whatever the daily budget is. So if you're spending five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, okay, you would go daily budget, right? That's what everybody teaches. You go daily budget and you put, the, put in that number right there. And let's say you plan on running it for seven days. Okay, cool. That's 10 bucks a day, seven days, seven, 70 bucks. What I do is I just do lifetime and I just do 70 bucks. That way every day, you know, depending on the traffic, not every day is the same. Facebook will deliver based on that budget for the day, but it are, are, are face. Yeah. Facebook, but because you left it open, it's more flexible. 
So if you put a cap on anything, right? Think of anything in general. You got a cap, like at your job. If you got a corporate ass job, there's a cap, right? You can only work so hard. You can only get so many promotions unless you can go all the way to the top and be the CEO. I don't know. Ask yourself, can you do that in your oper- in your company? I'm talking about the people that have a normal job, right? W-2, or even if you're self-employed, 1099, and you work for a specific company, right? Like, 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 think of it that way. Like, is there a cap or can you actually own the company one day, right? What's the cap? Same thing with this. It's the daily cap. So when you go daily budget, you're capping them for the day when they could have probably spent more and had you and had way more people see that ad because there was so much momentum online that day. Everybody was freaking on, on, on Facebook that day and they could have showed it to way more people, but you capped them for the day, right? So I don't do it that way. I do lifetime. Now, now again, um, I already know what needs to be spent no matter what, no matter what is happening, this amount is being spent weekly regardless. Right. So that's why I don't, I don't really look at the daily budget. Um, because we kind of have, have it narrowed down where, 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 you know, in this case, I already know what the numbers are going to be, whether I'm running a video ad for a week for you or a couple weeks or re- whether I'm running a like ad, I already know what those numbers are. So I don't need to micromanage it daily. Um, I'll go lifetime. I'll, I'll let, I'll turn it on and just let it run. And, and again, it's, this, it, it's the same budget. So it just gives Facebook the flexibility to, 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 to be more flexible per day. That's all, you know? Um, and, and I just found the numbers to be way, way, way more insanely beneficial when you run lifetime. Now, conversion ads, you could probably do that daily. You could probably run, but again, it just depends. You have to put yourself in a, in a mental position where you're like, dude, I'm going to spend this money no matter what. That's how you got to be, man. You can't, you can't micromanage these numbers too much, man. You really can't. All you need to really know is that you're in the right place, right? Because if you're not, how in the hell are, you know, 10 million people succeeding with ads, right? This is what it's all about. Whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's YouTube, it really doesn't matter. Whether it's Google, at the end of the day, it's freaking paid traffic. It is advertising. Any successful business, again, unless you're crazy, a crazy influencer and you're just bringing followers in from all over the damn world, that's why when I opened up in the beginning of the call, I truly believe if you're a local business owner, that makes no sense. Unless you want to be extrovert like that and be freaking Sally the butterfly, you can. But at the same time, you're local and this is how you do it, man. You, you, run, you run paid ads. You run paid ads regardless and you don't worry about the micromanaging of the numbers because we got to spend this no matter what. So if it's not going to be on Facebook, okay, go do it on Instagram. Go do it on TikTok. Go do it on freaking Snapchat. Go do it on YouTube. Do it somewhere is what I'm saying. You got to do it somewhere. You're a local business owner. Everyone, we need the attention of these people down the street. How in the hell do we do it, right? Are we going to continue to pass out flyers? Are we going to continue to freaking door knock? Are we going to continue to send direct mail, which is junk and everyone throws it in the trash? Are we going to try to put our face on the billboard? Are we going to put our face on the local bus bench? Are we going to freaking go to local events? Like how in the hell are we going to sell our product to our local community? This is for every small business, dude. I'm telling you, same strategies apply introduce yourself, spend this weekly money, no matter what. And, at, and, and, and when you really look at it, dude, I don't care what kind of business you're in, dude. I, I teach on basics where it's like, dude, let's just open up the first month spending 10 bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, 70 bucks a week. We do it 30 days, no matter what. And we're going to do it the next 30 days, no matter what. And it's going to be video form. And before you know it, that whole town is going to know who the hell you are. And, and because we're offering something upfront of value for free, a free download, a free PDF, a free training video, um, you're offering a free coupon, you're offering a discount, you're, you're a real estate agent, you're offering a free seller guide or a free buyer guide. When you come with that low ticket, low aggressive, you know, freaking non-aggressive, I should say, when you come with humility and you come with something of value and you come with it for free, for example, a PDF, dude, come on, it, it's freaking free. And, and you could put together everything and anything of value when it pertains to your specialty that other people can benefit from, that other people want to learn, that other people are willing to freaking buy, right? So, so this is how we do it, man. Lifetime budget, 70 bucks. We're going to start this ad right now. It is, we're starting it right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to push out a few hours. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to put it live at, um, in fact, you know what? We're, yeah, we're going to go live tonight. We're going to go live at, we're going to go live at, at least I'm going to sit it. I'm going to set it for six. Now it may not go live at that exact time. It may still be in review. Cause once you set up an ad, especially this is like a new account, 
it actually kind of is a new account. I'm in, I'm in the client's account right now and I'm freaking going to crush it for them. And, um, this is week one. Um, but we should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. So we're going to go a week. Okay. We're going to go a week. We're going to go a week. We're going to go from the 18th to the 25th and I'm going to end it at the same time. Okay. So we're going to keep that simple. Um, see the start date is in the past okay so it's already reading let's see four five four five yeah see it's reading their central time that's what it is okay so we're gonna go i'll go eight okay perfect so let's go eight um and that's it so so again i could have went five dollars a day or could, i could have went ten dollars ten dollars a day for seven days or i just go lifetime for 70. same thing okay so let's go into this now um this right here is when we go into Facebook ad number two and on, we're going to click right here. We're going to go to special ad audiences and we'll actually no, not special custom. We're going to go to custom audiences and boom, we're going to be able to retarget all of our people. So we won't retarget leads. In fact, we'll exclude them. We won't retarget shed view appointments. In fact, we'll exclude them. So to do those ones, I come right here and I hit exclude. That's why custom audiences are so important, man. Having your pixel on every page, right? And then, and then depend on the event, what happened? That person goes to the landing page, but they don't opt in. That person goes to the landing page and opts in and then goes to a thank you page. Every part of the page needs to be tracked. Like there needs to be a pixel and a custom audience built around those who land on the page, those who opt in and go to the thank you page, those who freaking schedule a call with you and go to a call confirm page. A pixel needs to be on, a, on each page and there needs to be a custom audience set up on it, right? Because now when I go in for ad number two and on, I can exclude my leads. Like why would I want to retarget people that already opted in? I got to exclude them. Why would I want to want to continue to target when I'm talking about the same thing when I keep talking about the same thing, I'm running a weekly ad, educating people on our services, talking about what we do, but that person is already a lead and they already scheduled an appointment. So why should I, and they live in the area that I keep targeting every week, but why would I want to keep showing them my ads, right? So I exclude them. Now, once our audiences start to build, this pixel is brand new, so there's not a lot of data on it yet, but once it starts to build, then what we'll do is I'll start including shed view website visitors these are people who only visited the page they saw the ad they click learn more they go to the landing page but they never opted in those are those people so so having my pixel on the landing page creating a custom audience around those who land on the landing page but never go to the thank you page is super important those are your website visitors so as you start to run these weekly ads you want to retarget all of those people and you want to retarget all the custom audiences that you're going to set up are based on people that are watching your videos, right? This is a video. Our whole purpose with this video views is to get thousands of people to view it. So I can, so I can, so I can build a custom audience and retarget those thousands of people in my next ad. The whole magic is the fact the magic of video is the fact that the magic of video advertising is the fact that people keep seeing you, man. And that's what it's about. It's about that exposure, that weekly exposure in front of your audience. Your audience is in your local backyard because you're a small business owner. Okay. So including excluding your custom audiences are so so important so we won't we won't worry about that right now because we don't have a huge audience so here i'm going to put in our target location okay so we're going to go the entire state he has a statewide business so people living in or recently in this location, this is very important. People living in this location, right? We want that one. We want to be very specific. So, um, and then the age, because I went housing, I can't change the age. Um, but again, we'll see. We'll see if I need to go housing. I'm, I may even set up another one. And, and don't, in fact, you know what? I'm going to do that. I won't do it here with you guys because I already talked your ear off enough on this one. But I'll set up another ad right away and I won't do housing on that one because if I don't do housing, then the age opens up. Then I can, I can edit the age because to tell you the truth, I don't want to target 18 year olds. This is for housing with housing. You can no longer change the age. You can no longer change the gender with housing ads. That's what I chose in the beginning, right? Right over here. I went with housing. 
So this right here, I'll create a second ad. I won't go housing. And then, um, and then, and then, and then we'll see. Um, and, and then, and then with that one, I can, I can edit the age and I'll see which one, you know, gets approved. And then if they both do, I'll turn off this one and run with the other one. So, because yeah, I don't want to target these, this, this younger group. Um, so that needs to be changed for sure. But I'll, I'll, I'll run with this for right for this, the sake of this video. So what I'm going to do on this one, you can leave it automatic placements, but at the same time, man, not, not in the beginning. Like you want your, your budget to go as far as possible. You want to be able to stretch it as far as possible, right? You don't want Facebook to, to, um, to, um, what's the word I'm looking for to, to take your, your dollars and spread them thin. Like you want to take your money and put it all in. You want to go all in on, on the most attention getting part of it all. And that's the, that's the, um, that's the newsfeed. So let me just send this text. My bad, you guys. Okay. So what I do in that case is I'm going to uncheck Instagram. I'm going to uncheck messenger. I'm going to uncheck audience network. And I'm going to keep all the attention on Facebook, but at the same time, I'm going to also narrow in Facebook. I don't want it in the marketplace. I'll have it on Facebook video feeds. I'll keep it in the news feed. Um, I'll scroll down Facebook stories. I'll, I'll have it there. Um, in stream, we want to uncheck in stream because in stream isn't even tracked in the data. Um, and I, I think, I believe it's, I believe it's the, the through plays, the 15 second through plays do not count in stream video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uncheck it. Um, that's fine. I want all of my money. I'm going to uncheck in article. I want all of our budget going straight to the news feed, to the video feed and to the Facebook stories. That's where that video is going to be played. Okay. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Um, there's the through play. Okay, cool. So we're good with that. Um, we're good with that. We're good with that. Um, and then also what, what I do also, let me, let me go up real quick. Um, okay. So, uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good there. You always want to double check, make sure that, you know, um, you're not missing anything. We'll keep it on all devices. Only when connected to Wi-Fi. No exclude content right here. Yeah. Available for audience network. Okay. So we're good with there. We're good there. We're good there. Okay, so then we hit next. Okay, now we're going to the third and final final one where all we're going to do is grab the post that we currently have on the business page, right? So it's right over here. We post it on the business page. We pinned it to the top and we're going to run this as an ad. Okay, so right over here, we're going to simply, um, please choose a video for your ad. That's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to change the page because it's not, it's not that page. It's actually this page. So we're going to go with that one and then we're going to scroll down, scroll down, and then we're going to go with use existing post right there. And it's going to open up where we just simply grab right here where it says select post. It's going to open this up and then we just grab that first one, which is um, this one right here. So that was on June 28th. Perfect. So we're going to grab that video right there. And the last thing we're going to do is add this call to action button. So you'll see how it looks right over here to the right. Um, now I'm going to grab the landing page and here's what I'm going to do. Also, you know what I'm going to do? Let before I even let me actually, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to leave it like that's fine. I was going to, I was going to edit the thumbnail, but that's fine. Okay. So this is the page right now in a conversions ad, when we're going to capture leads, this page is super important, obviously, right? But in this case, we're running video views. So it's not really that important, but at the same time, why not? Like, why not add the call to action button? Why not add the learn more button, right? So right here, I'm going to add button and we're going to go learn more. There's quite a few different options, but we're going to, we're going to keep it on learn more. We're going to paste in that landing page and we're going to update post. So even when we turn the ad off in seven days, that learn more button will still be there. It'll always be there, which is powerful. Okay. Now, um, but again, this is video views. So we're not, 
I'm not hoping for people to click learn more. Not on this. Not when you're optimizing. You got to know what you're optimizing for. That's why the first step, man, step one, the campaign level is the most important, dude. If you choose the wrong um, objective, right? We're going with campaign objective. We're going with video views. But if I wanted a ton of people to view it and I, and, and I ended up going with, let's, let's just say traffic. It's like, dude, that I wouldn't have got a ton of people to view it. You can maybe go brand awareness or reach for video views, but video views is video views. Like if I go freaking um, messages and I wanted people and I was looking to get people to my landing page to capture a lead, it's like, holy crap, dude, I would have not achieved, achieved that goal, right? Because it all starts here. Knowing exactly what these different objectives do will, will save you a ton of money and a, a ton of time. I truly believe that most of you guys that are following me are, are some type of either affiliate marketer, you're some type of agency owner where you're actually looking to service clients, you're looking to service small business owners when it comes to affiliate or when it comes to social media marketing or, or Facebook advertising or anything like that. Or you're maybe a, 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 a solopreneur, you're a real estate agent, you're a real estate broker, you're an insurance agent, you're an insurance broker. Um, something of those of those lines right where you're actually looking to capture a lead you need someone to go to a page enter their name and email right that's conversions man that's conversions all day but again you want to build your audience you want to introduce yourself that's the whole point of this damn video and i'll end it here start with video views week number one roll out seven days get a few thousand people to view that video then retarget them with conversions in week two and on okay that's a weekly ad that's what you want to be shooting for and that's what me and marlon are shooting for and i'm, I'm super fired up for him so we'll go to this, this last and final step man and we'll submit the um the ad we'll publish the ad and we're done and then i'll show you what it looks like in the news feed um we're good there we're good there we're good there there's the link we're good there Okay, and then all we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to hit publish, and we are good. So let me, um, let me close this out real quick. So once you see publishing three of three, once it, once it completes, which it just takes a few, sec few seconds, it says multiple items, items published. Now what I'll do is I'll X out of this, okay? I'll X out of this, and then what I normally do is just come back to the dashboard. I'll X that out, X that out. X that out and then I'll come back to the first tab and then boom, it's right there. So it's scheduled. So the campaign level, video views, boom, Facebook instantly approved. Over here, the, um, the budget, the targeting, the freaking, um, um, what else? I mean, pretty much it, the targeting, the budget, freaking all that in the second step ad set, boom, approved, scheduled. It's the third step where, um, where um, 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 it'll be in review for a few minutes up to a few hours. That's why normally when I set up an ad, I'll, I'll shoot for the next day. But I wanted to get this one out today, the 18th. Um, so, I, so I set it now. Okay, so, but normally, it depend, no matter what time of day it is, I'll always set the ad for the next day at 6 a.m. Keep that in mind. Okay, so um, that way I give Facebook plenty of time to review it and it doesn't cut into my scheduled time, right? On my calendar, on the calendar that I set. It doesn't cut into that time. If I set it for 8 p.m. and it doesn't approve until freaking 1 a.m., it's like shit, like, right? So that cuts into the budget that I had allocated for that one campaign because it's not going to match up with the clock that I set, right? So, but little details, man, but those little details make up, you know, dollars. So, that's what I do here, you guys. We'll wait for it to, to approve. Once it approves, it goes live. We run that for seven days. Um, the next video that you'll see coming up here at the end, you'll, you'll see the link in the description, and also it'll be coming up here in the end. That's going to be week number two. So I'm taking you on a four-week journey. I'm going to run these ads. You'll start to see me running these conversion ads next and, and capturing leads. That's where it's going to get you know super fun. So if you haven't subscribed, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how you can, how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys. So that is a video view ad. We're, we're good with this. There's really nothing else to track, but the freak, but the numbers right here, the basic, you can, you can come in here and you can go down to customize columns and I can set this up to the right. I can, I can set this up however I want. I can get rid of a few. I can, I can add a few um, amount spent and schedule results. I'll leave all that the same. 
um, results. I could take out, let's go with um, engage. Let's go with, I can, you know what, I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to leave it the way it is because it's just a video ad. So it doesn't really matter. But when it comes to conversions, you'll see how I rearrange this for conversions. Okay. Um, so we can look at the dashboard and be able to read our leads, you know, right away without having to dig into anything. We look at it from here. We'll know cost per lead. We'll know the type of lead it is. You know, we'll have some good data that we can customize here in the, in the, in the, um, in the column board. And, and that's when you can start, you know, seeing the numbers, you know, from afar. All right, guys. So that's that. I'll see you in the next video. Over now.